Welcome everyone to our Rail Plus's new webinar on um, GSR. So we are now covering Journey Beyond with the Ghana and the Indian Pacific today. And again, it's Nikki from Rail Plus, but I'm very lucky to have Renee doing today's webinar. So once again, I get to kind of sit back and hang out. Um, and thank you so much to Renee for doing this webinar for us today. So I'm just gonna hand over to her. And then like always, please feel free to send through any questions that you do have, and we will either answer them during the webinar or right at the end. Um, we will also send through all all of the details at the end with the link on where you can see the video, all the main question and answers, and then any additional information that we feel that you do need. So um, thanks again to Renee, and I'm just going to now hand over to you. <laughs> thanks very much, Nikki. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, as Nikki mentioned, my name is Renee Cornellison. Um, I am sort of a team member at Journey Beyond. Um, I'll go into a little bit detail in a second as to what Journey Beyond is because it is a new concept that you may not be familiar with at this point in time. Um, but thank you very much to Rail Plus also for this opportunity because um, it is a very exciting time of year for us as we are, had just opened our season launch for 1920. So I'm sort of hoping this webinar will, will run you through some of those changes and updates um, for the new travel season. Um, it's not actually going to be a presentation which will go through all the service levels where the trains do travel from and to. Um, that information, we can sort of um, give you some details and how you can sort that later. Um, but this is really, I guess, in terms of actually uh, looking at some of those uh, those changes, I guess, that new season um, moving forward. Um, as Nikki uh, mentioned, uh, obviously, um, Jenny Beyond, um, we are now part of a new um, umbrella company, if you like. So um, Great Silver Rail is sort of... Um, slowly disappearing in terms of the brand itself. However, we have about 18 months ago been purchased by a private equity firm out of Sydney. Um, and sort of that now encompasses not just trains, but we also have a few marine divisions as well too within our business. So as you can see by the slide here, um, it does actually denote obviously those that are under the umbrella of Journey Beyond at this point in time. Um, but you can see there that we have the GAN, the Indian Pacific and the Overland, which is um, my background. Um, but also we have coming into the mix as well, we have our friends over in Perth at Rot Express, which is the very uh, transfer service between Perth and Fremantle. And also we have our friends up in the Whit Sundays as well too, Cruise Whit Sundays, which is all the day tours out to Whitehaven Beach and the Great Barrier Reef, which is certainly very exciting products to come on board. And, you know, obviously now I get to uh, experience those and train our fellow industry partners on those as well too. So um, you're probably thinking, why Why did I mention this at this point in time in the presentation? I'll certainly explain that in a few slides time as to why. Um, but um, I guess today we're sort of here to, to enhance and to talk about um, the new changes with, um, with our rail entities as well too. So um, you can see there obviously the map of where we now cover. And I guess as part of our, our journey beyond umbrella, it will certainly grow in terms of some of the products that we do offer around Australia. So watch this space. Okay, so talking about trains, um, it is certainly a very exciting time, as I mentioned, for us at this time of year. Um, we have such heightened demand, I guess, at the moment for, um, or we have for the last couple of years, for the GAN, the Indian Pacific Rail Journey, um, which is certainly uh, a true testament of what you're, um, what you're talking to your clients about out there. Um, we certainly have a very, very large, strong word of mouth at the moment, which is a great thing to have. Um, I think Australia, it's really great to see that we have a lot of people travelling with inside Australia at the present time. And we're certainly tapping into, we're making a few changes um, you know, to our onboard experience and being all inclusive, which is why now I think we're tapping into a younger uh, target audience. Um, and I think it's just the, the purpose of people thinking that they want to disconnect and recharge and be, you know, sort of away from their... Um, you know, city busy lifestyles or maybe, you know, the run of the mill um, environments that we sort of do every day. So I think it's that that whole sense of purpose and reconnecting with Australia and the land and and, and having that time to really, you know, sort of um, discover um, this wonderful country that, you know, we, we're very lucky to call home. So with that said, obviously, we're, um, we're also, um, as I just mentioned at the top of the presentation, we've just opened on Monday. Um, for our 1920 uh, season launch. So this is this now means that our reservation system is now open from the 1st of April 2019 right through to the 31st of March 2020. So which is great news, obviously, we, we um, 
We've had a very busy week so far, um, so certainly hopefully some of you have booked um, already, um, but certainly I guess a lot of people are now looking to lock in some space, um, you know, especially in our peak seasons for the following, you know, next, we're talking next year, so May through to August as well, which is certainly our, our very much um, our busy time of year. So um, we, uh, as part of this launch, uh, we have uh, released um, earlier than usual than some years in the past, a new holiday program. So this is a, a program of holiday packages all the way through Australia. Um, so I guess it's not just as I mentioned um, at the top of the slide when we're introducing Journey Beyond. Um, sort of now we have product that's up in the Whit Sundays that's part of our program. We have um, you know product that's out more in depth, you know, up into the West Australia, the top end region there. So we do have a lot more product breadth, I guess, this year. So we do have a whole range of 39 new packages. Um, that are available in our new brochure. Um, the new brochure um, is obviously available uh, for you to order through TIFF's Templar um, and it's also obviously available. We've got copies of it on the Rail Plus website at present time. Um, so if you want to jump online, grab and download a package brochure, it actually will detail um, some new packages in there as I mentioned. And we sort of have, instead of um, developing these in terms of um, around the train journeys, in past and previous years, we've had a program or a brochure that would be, oh, these are the GAN packages, and these are the Indian Pacific packages. We've actually themed them in a way of saying, well, these are the outback packages, these are food and wine, these are nature, indigenous, you know, beaches, and we've also got some rail and sail packages in there too. And also just some city stops that don't include rail. So I guess there's so many different packages out there sort of have in this brochure, it's 120 pages. It's certainly very exciting, very, um, you know, colourful, some great new imagery in there too. So I certainly encourage you to grab a grab a copy of, of the of the brochure and have a look at it. Um, it certainly is, has come a long way in its um, in the last twelve months. So we previously normally um, release this at, um, sort of in a couple of months' time. We've sort of brought it back up to our, our launch at this point in time. So it's really exciting for us to have this available to us at you know at this especially at this time of year. So I do encourage you to have a look at that if you like. So. Um, in terms of the actual train updates, um, I'll, I'll walk you through those now. Um, so specifically talking about the GAN, uh, we have a, a break over summertime, so between December and January of 1920. So not this summer, it's next summer. We actually um, do normally pause the GAN service between mid-January, uh, mid-December and mid-January. Um, we tend to find that a lot of our, our target audience don't really travel to the north of, of Australia at that time of year. A, it's Christmas, B, it's very, very hot and humid. Um, so we do tend to find that we do have, um, uh, it's, it's traditionally deemed as our low season. So for the, the timetable moving forward, we will be ceasing operation, obviously, of the uh, of the train during that time of year. So do keep that in mind, obviously, if you've got people that are looking to travel at that time of year. Okay, um, we will also be celebrating the GAN's uh, 90th anniversary uh, on the 4th of August next year too. So there'll be more, more details that will come around this special event. Um, we'll hopefully have um, a theme train departure, which may be, uh, I don't know what it's going to look like, but um, there'll be probably celebrations, dignitaries and that kind of thing on board. So we'll certainly share some of those informa that information once it's available because you may have clients um, that may wish to book on that. Um, so at this point in time, you will see that that particular service is actually shown as a block out or it's actually um, you cannot book onto that service at this point in time because we have taken it out for sale at this stage. So if you have got clients that are looking to about that time of year then um, obviously it is it, it will be unavailable. Um, in terms of some updates in terms of the cabins itself, um, we refer, we um, gold and platinum service have remained the same uh, in terms of the product offering for 1920. However, I just wanted to point out here that our single cabins have been through a refurbishment program in the last 12 months. So they are looking really quite smart. Um, they're very fresh, modern, contemporary sort of look and feel. Um, you can see it here with the bed down. Um, however, we have made a bit of a slight change to our pricing for our gold service single cabins. Uh, we traditionally give a 5% discount off the per person twin share rate. Um, uh, however, this will now increase to 10%, um, which I think is great to uh, understand uh, for especially for those solo travellers. Um, a lot of people weren't a, a lot of our extended partners don't know that um, we do offer a single cabin and it is and it's no simple supplement to do so. In actual fact as you can see here it's cheaper. Um, so it, we do have that discount on that shoulder and low season of 10% and in our high season it will remain at 5%. So 
So do keep that in mind. Obviously, if some of you have um, some single travellers out there, I'm sure you do on your databases. This might be something to you know sort of um, mention to them and see if it's of their of their of their uh, fancy. Okay. In terms of the GAN expedition, the GAN expedition. Um, if for those of you who are not familiar, yeah, everyone asks me this question: What is the, what's the difference between the GAN expedition and the normal GAN or the classic GAN service? The classic GAN service is a is a two night three day journey with just stops in Alice Springs and Catherine, whereas the expedition itself uh, is uh, available for a three night journey um, southbound. So it's only travel from Darwin to Adelaide. With stops again, still Catherine and Alice Springs, but we've added an additional stop of Cooper Pedy. So uh, this is great for those people um, who want to explore the opal mining history around Cooper Pedy. The expedition is not for the faint-hearted. It's something that uh, is quite the active traveller because this is something that is it is full day touring. There's a lot of stepping on and off coaches, etc. So it is is um, it is for those you know active travellers. I would suggest. It's now in its fifth season. It's operating, I guess, uh, through from eight months next year, so from March all the way through to October, um, and then it will also um, operate the following or on sale for the following March of 2020 as well. So do keep that in mind, I guess, you know, for your for your clients. Um, we do have seasonal fares on the expedition, so these will continue in 1920. So as you can see here, April, September, and October 2019 are considered our shoulder season, and also with March 2020. And then we also have our high season of May through to August as well, too, which is, I know, selling extremely well this week. So if you have clients interested in that high season, especially on the expedition, I'd certainly encourage them to book this week, especially also with your partners of Rail Plus as well. Okay, so the expedition, I guess, is very unique, and I guess this is why a lot of people do want to do the expeditions, because we do offer one of our off-train excursions. Excursions what is what make our, our journey so unique and, and um, so special. Um, but on the expedition, it's even heightened to some extent because we actually offer a uh, excursion down to Uluru as part of the um, as part of this particular journey. We offer a fixed wing scenic flight down to Uluru. Uh, it's a cost of twelve hundred and forty nine dollars per person, and it can be pre booked. This is one thing I guess in terms of a training element or an update from from today's takeaway. I'd love you to take away is that we can actually book this excursion. None of our other excursions can be pre-booked except for this one because we have limited spots of only just 20 on the plane um, out of a potential 300 that are travelling on us on the expedition. So I, I can't stress this enough. If you do have somebody looking to travel on the expedition, this, this needs to be pre-booked to avoid disappointment, I guess, from that point of view. In terms of the Indian Pacific, so uh, we do, I guess, a lot of the changes are still there is no, sorry, there is no uh, real major changes to the Indian Pacific for 1920. The only thing I can really think to point out is the fact that we do have some changes to our seasonal fares. So the changes uh, are from, you know, we have, might have a few additional um, months that have now become shoulder and a few that have come low. I actually have a slide at the end which I think demonstrates this the best. So. Um, the Indian Pacific, like again, will also be um, be celebrating its 50th anniversary um, in 2020, so 23rd of February. Um, we will, again, like again, with its anniversary, we have blocked this up for sale at this point in time in our system. So um, you will see that it's um, unavailable to book at this, at this time. So um, again, stay tuned for some more details as to some great itineraries and exciting um, events that we may be holding, host, hosting on that particular service. Okay. This is what I mentioned. Um, it's a really great uh, snapshot as to what our seasonal months are, you know, versus 1819 versus 1920. You can see there if we go line by line, so we look at the top line of the GAN, uh, we can see that uh, virtually right up until December, January, we no longer have a low season. And then February's become shoulder, as you can see there in the yellow. And then looking at the lines of the GAN expedition, um, they do remain exactly the same. So you can see no change there in terms of seasonality with the expedition. From 1819 to 1920. And the Indian Pacific is where you will see a lot of the changes. Um, so we've now classified June and July as low season. Uh, and then we've also made a change to November, which used to be high season, it's now shoulder. And then we've also made a change in February from low season to shoulder season in 1920. So this is sort of a great snapshot, I guess, in terms of, um, of where sort of uh, our seasonality does change from year to year. The other thing to point out here too is you might remember that we are we're missing the overland or any reference to the overland here. We do have um, that's the service between Adelaide of Melbourne, 
currently in contract negotiations with the Australian, uh, with, the Australian with the Victorian and South Australian government. So at this point in time, it's only available to book up until the 31st of September this year. Uh, we're hoping that that agreement will be signed rather shortly. I know a few people do have inquiries and have got people ready to book. So do um, do keep those bookings aside. Uh, we will announce shortly, hopefully, that that will be available to book and we'll send out some fares as well in addition to this as well. Um, so that sort of, I guess, wraps up sort of some of the updates. I know it's a really short time. We know that your time is very precious today, but um, I think um, Nikki's going to go through shortly in terms of some of the training tools that, that Rail Plus have available to you. But I know certainly on there at the moment is some some great 360 degree videos or uh, footage rather that actually shows you cabin dimensions and, and layouts, etc. I know are really important when terms of talking to your your customers and your clients um, to allow them to look at um, the size of the cabins and sometimes they're, they're double guessing should I go gold should I go into platinum so these these tools are really really important I think and they're they're great for you know your clients and feel free to share those with them because I think it will certainly hopefully help in an upgrade and a better sale for you so um, obviously all of our fares and timetables for 1920 and not forgetting this current season which is 1819 obviously are all available with Rail Plus and up on their, their website um, and if you want any further information in terms of the service levels and, and where we travel from and to, then certainly that's available too. And I think Nikki's going to talk to you shortly about some um, some exciting, exciting changes and some, and some further training elements um, that Rail Plus can certainly make available to you. So with that said, I'm going to hand back to Nikki um, and then we'll go into some questions. Perfect. Thank you so much, Renee. So uh, very exciting to see the transition from um, Great Southern Rail into Journey Beyond and what an exciting name and um, yeah, a good branch out for the company. So um, basically, we are doing something very exciting, which is a familiar opportunity. So we're giving an agent the chance to win a spot on the Garn Expedition. Um, what you need to do is just complete the quiz and then sell Australian Rail through Rail Plus. So this will give um, away a spot. And then we also have a bonus opportunity for an agent to win a spot by booking the reef to reef package. So all you need to do is go either follow the link we'll send in the post email, or if you are watching this webinar at any other time, just go to the specials tab on the Rail Plus website. This will go until the end of August. Um, the Reef to Reef package, we do have the information on there, but it's a very exciting package which incorporates the um, Great Barrier Reef, the train from Sydney to Perth, as well as Exmouth and Ningaloo. So 21 day um, self-drive with rail into Pacific in the middle. And if an agent can book this, so if you do get an inquiry from that and you do book that through Rail Plus, there'll be an extra spot to the first agent who books the first reef to reef package. Um, yep, yeah, so all the flyer, all the details, that'll all be on the specials tab. And just remember, you can use that specials tab at any point to access information on any trainings, promos, or incentives that are going on with Rail Plus. Um, so if we just can jump to the next slide, Renee is controlling it for me. So ready to book. So just a reminder, Rail Plus contact details, which is the gtj at railplus.com.au. Um, that is the direct email address and direct phone number for our Great Train Journeys team. Now, just to quickly run over who that uh, who those guys are, we have a dedicated department in our office called the Great Train Journeys team, and they book products like the Rocky Mountaineer and our Canada TaylorMade and all of our luxury rail across the world, your Orient Express, your Blue Train in Africa, but they also book all of our GSR products. So the Garn, Indian Pacific and the Overland. Um, so basically you've got your direct phone number, direct email address. You will be dealing with the same person from start to finish. We're pretty lucky in the office that we've had probably around seven of the guys in the office travel on the train and three out of the five that work in the Great Train Journeys department have also been on the train as well. So if you do have any questions, please let them know. Um, if you've got any questions about the Gold Superior cabins versus Gold Twin and Platinum, um, those are the things that the guys will be well aware of. Um, another thing which they can book are the packages. So yeah, Renee talked about the 120 page brochure. We will be able to book everything in that brochure, even though it's not all on our website. So just keep that in mind when you are looking at the packages. Rail Plus do have access to those as well. 
Um, we will, of course, email out all the links after, but um, just a reminder that the agent resources our Google Drive. We have the link on the top right hand corner of the website, MyRail Plus Tools. Through that, go into agent resources, then click through into the Google Drive. You will be able to access the webinars, um, the webinar slides that we use today, but you'll also see a sales guide that we'll be updating there soon. We also have Facebook tiles to launch the new season so we have a bunch of different ones that you can choose to use and if any of those suit you um, you know definitely get this stuff out to your clients so they can book early because so often do I hear out on the road that agents aren't able to get their clients the availability because they don't think that they need to book as far out as they do and just remember this product it's a, an Australian icon so for those international travelers coming to Australia they want to book it and Australians want to book it. So we need to make sure we're actually getting to those clients early enough to make sure they're not disappointed. And we also have our Rail Expert Training Program launching into the Great Train Journeys area, and we will have a whole module on um, Journey Beyond. So that at the moment is all European content, but we will start to load the next modules um, starting probably around August. So keep an eye out for that. And if you haven't done the Europe modules, you are welcome to complete them. Um, so we have just had a couple of questions and um, we may get Renee to answer them. Um, so let's look at a couple. So um, why can you not break the Garn expedition journey in half? Some clients want to spend time in Alice Uluru for a week and then carry on south. Um, so getting back on the expedition a week later. Sure, yeah, happy to answer this one. <laughs> um, the expedition is actually designed around that expedition travel. So it is actually a journey end to end Darwin to Adelaide. Um, because we do a lot of um, inclusive group experiences on this particular journey, you can't actually break in Alice. So if clients did want to do a break of journey in Alice Springs, I would certainly recommend that they travel northbound. So they travel Adelaide to Alice Springs, break their journey, and then also spend, you have to spend a week in Alice Springs um, but to pick up the next service to go north to Darwin. So um, the expedition, as I said, is very much designed around, um, there's a lot Lot of inclusive events um, you know sort of exclusive dinners and that kind of stuff which um, is designed to be as a group and not actually break the journey so um, that's the reason um, for that obviously mm -hmm. um, there's also another question um, here as well which I'm happy to answer to Nikki which is yes. um, is everything included you know in the fair as in food drinks etc yes this has been the way for certainly um, many many years um, it's is inclusive of obviously all your beer, wine, spirits, soft drinks, cocktails, tea, coffee, juice, water, snacks, um, you know, and that meaning, you know, crisps to, you know, nuts and stuff during the day. Seriously, whatever I've had for meals, and I'm sure um, some of the people are passionate to this, but you sort of really come off the train feeling extremely full um, because the food and the, the quality of the food and our chefs do an amazing job in the very small kitchens that they do do is a really high quality level. So um, that's certainly one of the main key reasons why people travel with us. And it's the biggest in terms of feedback that we get is about our staff, as in terms of the service that they deliver, and also the food and then the, the beverage that we offer. We take it all very seriously. So that's why a lot of, um, you know, it's, it's certainly important to us that this is included in the fair. Mm. And I know that when I did the uh, the Indian Pacific a couple of years ago, one thing that I found, which is just an extra feature, um, is that there is a dining car. There are a number of dining cars situated throughout the train. So at the end of our gold twin cabin carriage, we did have um, just an area where we could go and prepare ourselves coffee and tea at any time or hot chocolate. Um, but I think it's, uh, and I'm sure it's the same in all the trains, Renee, that you will have your section. So if you have clients that you know, you're looking at the garn as the length of a train can be almost up to 900 k's long, sorry, 900 k's, 900 meters long. Um, they don't have to walk that whole distance. All they've got to do is get to their nearest dining or lounge car. So they're probably what, maybe one every four or five carriage. Is that about right? There would be a dining car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've got any clients with mobility issues, generally the, the disabled access rooms would be the closest to the um, lounge and the dining car. Um, and then they'll have, you know, all of your gold twins and your gold singles or in the platinum, they would be in sort of their separate sort of connection of car. So, yeah, your clients never having to walk that entire distance, because I imagine by the time you finish walking, you eat, you go back to your room, you'd probably be hungry again and have to go back. So, um, 
yeah, there's definitely that which is a small feature, which is I think something worth mentioning to your clients. Absolutely, as well. yeah. I agree. We've um, uh, we've also had another question here: the GAN or the Indian Pacific, which you personally prefer. This is probably one of the questions I get asked all the time, and I always refer reference it back to. Um, you know, it's like saying, who's your favourite child? Do you have a favourite child? Is it the way that um, I look at it? Look, you know, if you really had to hard press me on, you know, really get it out of me, I would have to say the GAN only because it's such a dramatic change in terms of scenery and um, um, landscape that you get when you travel, you know, um, you know, from south or north, whichever direction you're travelling in. So, you know, the tropics of Darwin to the red, the red centre of Australia, yeah, and then down to the food and the wine and the pastoral district of South Australia. Like it certainly, um, certainly is a, a wonderful experience to see. And then you wake up the next morning and, and your, the landscape just changes dramatically. And I think that's sort of, I guess, really the thing that sort of um, resonates with me, I guess. Um, you will get that obviously on the Indian Pacific as well too, but it's not as dramatic. And that's really the only thing that I can put it down to in terms of differentiating the two. In terms of the trains themselves, they're exactly the same in terms of the internal makeup, you know, the lounge, Car, the restaurant car, the cabins are all exactly the same. So if you've had clients travel on one, then they generally will come back and travel on the other. Uh, and they can comfortably do so knowing that they're both the same um, decor and same sort of layout as well too. Um, Renee, did you want to answer the next question for <laughs> us as well? <laughs> There's a question here about uh, discounts. Of course, we, uh, we love nothing more than having um, you know, our trade partners on board our trains. Certainly, it's not like staying in a hotel room where you've got four walls, you've got a bathroom, you've got a bed. Uh, we do know that train travel is unique um, and it certainly is something that, um, that you know, it's best experience. And, and we can sit here and talk about it all day and 15 minutes and 20 minutes is not long enough to sort of go through it all. But um, certainly, if you do have the time um, to do so, we'd certainly encourage you to, to contact uh, Rail Plus um, to available to make um, you know, some inquiries in terms of any uh, agents discounts that are available to you um, and we can go from there. Obviously we don't offer discounts in our high season but are happy to look at things, you know, within, you know, 60 days of departure and then in our low and shoulder seasons as well too. Um, yeah, so any questions about that just email the Great Train Journey girls and they can send you in the right path for that. Sure. Um, yeah, so Clan Clyde's uh, in Platinum Eat and got meals with friends in gold. Uh, look, uh, certainly what I would suggest in this scenario um, is that Platinum can go to gold, but gold can't go to Platinum. So um, certainly if they want to have a, you know, share um, a meal together, they certainly can do so, but it would be in the Queen Adelaide restaurant uh, in gold service, not in the Platinum Club Lounge, which is separate for Platinum service guests. So. Um, this is sort of something we do keep separate and obviously that, that exclusivity with Platinum is certainly, um, you know, heightened there as well too. So, no, we don't allow gold guests into Platinum. Mm, and I think that's probably important as well when you've got three passengers travelling together and you're looking at two in a Platinum room and then maybe one in a gold single because obviously the Platinum is going to be in a different area to that gold single um, passenger. And they, I mean, we can try and sort of get them somewhat, you know, close to each other, but it may be the case if they're booking late that they may be at either end of each other. That's so exactly right, Nikki. Yeah, um, I can't stress it enough. I mean, singles do, even to your gold twins, are very separate. So they can generally be, you know, two or three carriages apart. So um, the, the, the earlier we can book um, and have that reference and length of bookings, the better. So, um, yeah, I can't stress that enough. Hmm. And um, remember as well that they are both very social products. So they will have in that lounge area trivia or, um, you know, someone performing or um, there's books, there's games, stuff like that. So I think it's, um, you know, when you're looking at that gold twin as an option, even though it obviously is a little bit smaller to the platinum, you're really not spending a lot of time in the room. And when the beds are folded away, there's plenty of space in there. The you know the the wardrobe's large enough for your clothes for the couple of days. The the bathroom's sufficient size. But it is more about that social experience and spending time in the lounge car and enjoying the other the company of the other guests as well. So um, obviously platinum, you know, it's there. It's it's an amazing product offering. Um, but if you do have clients that are looking at three people traveling together, we can always accommodate that within maybe a gold superior and then a mm -hmm. gold single. So the gold superior would be the, the one with the three quarter lower bed, but there are only generally two 
per train. Yes, um, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to be quick. <laughs> yes. Um, other thing too, I like to mention as well. You just, you just, um, you made it brought it to my attention, Nikki, is the fact that obviously um, we are, we have obviously opened our launch uh, for nineteen twenty this week. Um, it's been quite a, a busy week for us, and certainly we will find. That there will be certain dates in Platinum Service that will sell out really quickly. So I can't stress that enough. If you have clients that are looking to book Platinum, um, to do it so within the next, at least the next month, um, and, I'm, and I'm not, it's no sales pitch, nothing. I'm just, you can, you can see the availability just goes really, really quickly. So uh, we do have an additional capacity that we've made available to us um, probably towards the end of this year. Uh, but available for travel next year in Platinum. So we're going to be increasing our inventory by, by about 60%. So I can't stress enough, if you do have clients that want to book, you know, always come back and check with Rail Plus to make sure that there is additional space that we may have had a cancellation or we may have had an increase um, in, in inventory in Platinum I'm talking. So um, do, just always ask the question, I guess, because um, you know, certainly you don't want your clients missing out and you don't want to lose the booking either. So. Mm. Definitely perfect. Well, I think um, that is all of the questions. And um, I just wanted to go back quickly to the person that asked about breaking up the garn. Um, there is a great package called Territory Complete that um, we do have that offers kind of rail and then Uluru and that in the middle and then a bit more rail at the end. So if you have any questions about any of the packages, let the guys know. Or if you are thinking about something but you haven't seen a package, do let them know they may be able to find something which fits in. Um, but thank you so much to Renee again for joining us today. Um, please, you know, send us through any questions if you have them. If you'd like to reach out to your sales manager, you've of course got Larry up north in Queensland, Northern New South Wales, Northern Territory, Matt in the middle, New South Wales ACT and WA, and then me, Nikki, down the bottom, Victor's SA. So um, yeah, feel free to reach out to us with any questions or if you want any actual training on the different classes and the different routes. Um, but otherwise, thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>